Hello! It's story time! Anyway, so I have only gotten 5 hours of sleep, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit like... Oh, oh, oh no, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah. But anyways, let's get on with the video. I will give you 10 tips about fursuiting. Uh, like, you know, where to fursuit, what you need to get the best experience, and stuff like that. So, let's get started. And also, if I die or fall asleep, then you know why. Alright, so the first thing is where to fursuit. Anywhere you want, you can suit. But, you might get in trouble for it. And then you're gonna die. Especially when you go fursuit in a bank. You will get shot. And you will be dead. Alright, so, let's talk about malls. You know, like giant malls where you buy clothes and stuff. So, they are not the best place for fursuiting. It is usually very hot in there, so you might die. And there's a lot of people, so I don't know if it's the best place to pursue but if you want to pursue it, you can pursue it in there. But there's one thing you have to remember that you can't just walk in there just like, oh hey, I'm a giant animal, I'm just gonna come here and do my thing. So basically, you're just gonna have to call ahead and uh, what do you have to tell them? Should I tell them, oh hey, I'm a furry, can I come in? Then they're going to be like, what? So that's not the best way to tell them. So basically, just uh, why do I say basically so many times? Oh, I'm so stupid. You should say that, hey, can I come in there with a mascot costume? and you know just have some fun is that okay and uh, if they tell you no then don't start like bugging them that oh come on why not because you know it's for safety because they can't see your face and you might be coming to steal something so they don't know that but uh, if yes then you can go and uh yeah. but okay <laughs> the next thing where you get past it all right so there are parks, and parks are pretty much the best places to first do, oh, at least one of them. It's, uh, park, parks are really awesome. It's like, fresh air, and it's not like that hot. So yeah, you can always go to a park, I think. I think. I think. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, parks are fine. So then, where you can always first it is at your house. Just, you know, being in my room and putting a giant animal costume on and just doing something with YouTube videos, like I am. So, you know, when you're at like your friend's house or something like that, you can always like first suit. If they don't have a really angry mom, that's going to be like, I'm gonna kill you! Perfect. So if someone has a mother like that, it's probably not the best if you fuss it in the because the mom will kill you. Get out of my way, hair. Get my kids to see you. Come on. Then we have conventions. Well obviously if you go to a furry convention you can wear a fursuit in that so yeah so also there are events like cosplay events uh festival events you know like some music festival uh i wouldn't really go i wouldn't recommend going to a music festival or concert with a fursuit i did and uh, it went very well but you know, there's a lot of drunk people in there and uh, and there's a lot of people in there so I wouldn't uh, recommend it so yeah 
there can be some creepy people that are like really drunk or have taken something. So they're going to be going <laughs> because they have taken something or they're very drunk. So there's also, you know, uh, those uh, children playgrounds. Um, I don't really know. It's up to you. But, um, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. It could be a bit creepy, you know? You know, some creeper coming to take your kids or something, they might think. But, I don't know. It's up to you. And, uh, I don't know. Like, in Estonia, people are very friendly. And I haven't caught, like, any... I don't know, creepy people that will be like, ew. So, I don't know, I haven't gotten like any ew people here. So, maybe you have like really horrible people in your country that really hate furries. Then, I don't know, they will probably be like, ew, oh my god, what are you doing in the playground? Go away, you freak. Or something. But, uh, I can just post it wherever I want because people are all friendly and. I haven't gotten in trouble, ever. So that's great. And again, I'm really sorry if I'm like super weird or something. Because I have gotten only 5 hours of sleep! Alright, so that was a pretty long topic, uh, but let's move on to the second thingy. Okay. Alright, so the weather. If it's really, 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 really hot outside, you should not pursue it. Because you might literally die. It's so hot outside, and you might pass out. You might get a heat stroke, and uh, people have even died of heat stroke. So that's not very good. And if you pass out, then the paramedics will come and cut you out of the suit. No, they won't gently just pull you out of it. They will cut you out. The first suit is ruined. So that's wonderful, and you don't want that to happen. But I don't really know if you live like in Australia or something. Is it really hot in there all the time? But how do you first it then? It's so confusing. <laughs> in like Estonia, we have four seasons, so but it feels like it's summer all the time. Hmm. I don't really know. But also, if it's raining outside. Then you shouldn't fuss your either. Because otherwise you're gonna get all wet. And your fuss your eyes will melt away. Anyway, just move on! You have to drink a lot. A lot, a lot of water. Not of it. No, not alcohol. Water. Water is your best friend. It's really good, it will give you hydrated. Because if you're not hydrated, you might pass out, and then the paramedics come and cut you out of the suit. Blah 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 blah. And also, if you're super hungry, don't go for suiting. And if you eat like I don't know a lot, so you're gonna then don't for suit. Cause just think about it. You just eat like a giant pasta, or you know something big, and then you go for suiting. You're going to be feeling so bad. So don't do that. So just take like a quick snack or something easy, you know. And drink lots of water. And a little tip. Go to the bathroom before your first suit. Because if you're going to put that full suit on and then you need to pee. Then you're gonna have to take it off again and then go to the bathroom and then put it back again. So it will be much easier if you just go to the bathroom before before you put your plastic on. Alright, so the next important thing is that have a handler. So a handler is a person that will give you water, will be with you. So maybe if you don't talk in suit. Uh, you know, the handler can like, you know, translate some stuff that, oh hey, what what are you guys? If someone comes back, then the handler can like, you know, explain something. And, uh, 
you know, take care of you, be your eyes, ears, you know, stuff. So a handler is very important. Uh, I usually don't have a handler because I don't have any friends. <laughs> I usually have to deal with it myself. So that is a very bad thing, honestly. It is really super bad if you don't have a handler. It is seriously horrible. I highly, highly recommend getting a handler because it's much easier that way. It will carry your water, film you, I don't know, something. So, if you have a handler, it's really difficult. Trust me, I know. Alright, so if you have a full suit, then you should also wear under armor. So, under armor is like a clothing that will keep you cool so you wouldn't die. Yes, there's a lot of dying in this video, or, you know. So yeah, under armor, is, uh, you should get that from somewhere. Don't go naked, don't. So if you pass out and die, then the paramedics will cut you out of the suit, and you will be naked, and it will be awkward. Or, you know, it's just, you will feel horrible because you know, the backing in the fur and stuff, it's like kind of uncomfortable so it will be like uncomfortable obviously I don't know why my camera does that blue thingy but let's just ignore that alright, so now there are some rules uh, when you go out first city okay, so very important is that you never hold a child no? When the mother comes, oh hey, hold my child I'm here! Don't take it! Don't! Don't, 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 don't! Because your paws are like so big and stuff, and you know, you might drop the baby. And if you drop the baby, you will die. The mother will kill you. So that will be bad, because you don't probably want to die. Or you do. But either way, don't, don't, don't hold the child. It's a bad idea. Oh! And also take a lot of breaks. Yes. Can't just pass it with like five hours straight, cause you're gonna die. So just take breaks, like I don't know, any every 15 minutes or it really depends. You know how advanced you are with it. Yeah. So yeah, if you're if you're new at it, you will probably have to take a lot of breaks. But if you're a little bit more advanced and you have been first shooting for some years already or something, you probably don't have to take as many breaks. But as soon as you feel a little bit tired, it's good to take a break. And also, if you are taking a picture, it's good to have your hands like visible because otherwise it might look a bit weird on the photos. So. It's usually just good to like pose, like your hands will be visible. It's just better that way. But, um, eh, whatever. Alright, so let's talk about reaction. People reaction. So, you will get a lot of different reactions. So, some of those are that are like, get away for a fag. So, it's best to just avoid them. You know, just like. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. Alright, so then the... the ah. So then the, those people that are like, Oh my god, I want to take a picture, you're so cute! Well then, you can take a picture with them. And you can be like, hey! And be like, whoa! And stuff. Take a picture. That's good. And then the... the and then these are the... And then... The, and then these are the... And these... Oh my god! And then there are the people. I got it right! Yes! And then there are the people that won't really understand what the fuck is going on. They might be like... Okay... What the... What the... So, um, I don't know, it just depends. Look at the face, and it will tell them what you should do. 
and also about uh, children. So if there are children, if the child is scared of you, um, it's probably. Why is my camera doing that? The camera is dumb. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? And then stop doing it. Oh no, it's back. Come on, what's up with that? Come on, go away. I don't know, I have to get a new camera. Look so at yeah, that. Kid is scared of you. You should uh, probably avoid them. But not just like the kid is in front of you, you just gotta walk away. Because <laughs> um, that is probably the best to just, uh, you know, uh, get down on the level and just act scared like, oh my god, I'm scared of you. Oh my god, I'm so scared of you. And then they will probably uh, calm down a little bit. I personally haven't gotten like kids that over. Come on, stop the camera. Stop it. Come on. I personally haven't gotten any kids that will be like crying because I came uh, along and over there somewhere. So that's good. Ah! So that's good. No one has started crying. I haven't made any kids cry. That's good. Also, but if the kid is like happy and stuff, then that's good. Can you stop it, camera? Jeez, um. Alright, so yeah, just basically, you know, go along, you can see what the kid is like. So yeah. Alright, also, pet. I'm gonna kill the camera right now. The camera is going to die. I'm gonna punch the sh I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing it, eh? Scared now? Alright, that's what you have to do when your camera does that shit. Oh no, it's doing it again! No! So anyways, this is a pet. Uh, so pets can react also differently. Uh, I usually avoid them, just in case. Because um, some pets might freak out. And um, when they are like freaked out and barking and being like all nervous, then don't approach them, otherwise you're going to die. So, and also there are the pets that like really don't care, just gonna be like, okay, there's like this dog over here, I don't care, I'm just gonna be like, chill, so that's good. And also if you go fursuiting, make sure you have cleaned your fursuit first. Don't go like, I don't know, not brushed fursuit and smelly fursuit, don't, don't go with a bleh. Don't go with a smelly fursuit. Don't go. <laughs> oh, oh god. So clean your fursuit first. Because no one wants to take pictures of you and hug you if you're all disgusting and stuff. But yeah, don't go with a smelly or disgusting fursuit. Seriously. I'm gonna kill this camera! Seriously. I'm gonna kill you, camera. I'm looking at ya, and I'm gonna kill ya! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> That's the end, so I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was interesting. I thought I heard something. Anyway. Go ahead and like this video. And uh, leave a comment. And subscribe and all that stuff. And um, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. And sorry for being so tired. And weird. Bye bye. Ah. Look at my hands. Look at them. Ah. It's called fursuiting. Ah, yeah, look at it. Can you see that? Ugh. What is that? Ew. Look at it. It's called fur shooting. Can you ever see that? Look at that. Look at that fur. Don't focus, your stupid camera. This camera sucks.
Look at that. Look at it. Look at that. I can't see it. But it's there and it's disgusting. Actually, it's just fur, so it's not actually that disgusting. But oh, look at it. Look at it. That's okay. That came inside of my fur suit hand. Hey, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, man. Oh god, no! I broke the camera! And you can see my messy room, don't look at it. Oh god. That's what you get, camera! For being an ass! Stupid camera. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat the camera, everyone! Come. Nom. 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 Nom.